What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another Scum video. I hope you're all doing well. As always, thank you very much for your ongoing support, ladies and gents. Greatly appreciated. Now, if you don't know already, I'm sponsored by GG Host. Don't forget to use my affiliate link down below to get you 50% off of your first month of one of the awesome epic survival games that GG Host has to offer. And don't forget to use my name, Rake It, in a promo code section uh, before purchasing as well. Otherwise, you won't get that 50% off in your first month. Right, I've been very excited, ladies and gents, to actually make this video because where the new cooking has different ingredients and stuff, and we'll get into this in a moment, um, and the loot rework, it's changed everything. This game is really starting to feel like an actual survival game. And if there's certain ingredients you need, especially for cooking, you now need to go to specific places um, where you're going to find them. You can even find them at like markets and stuff like this all around the map, um, and kitchens and restaurants. Um, in different cities too. So before we actually look at anything, we're going to go straight into tab. We're going to go into the menu here and we're going to go into stats. And you can see the cooking skill here, guys. Um, so obviously I've got a very low skill. Now this is what influences this, uh, this skill. So influences meal cooking times. So where I've got such a low cooking skill here, um, basically that's going to make it take forever to actually cook something. So if I had a really higher level cooking skill, it won't take as long. Nice and simple down. Uh, so some of the other things that have come into the games, we've got a new generator or two new generators. We've got the 500 watt and the 250 watt generator. It's just two different options, does the same thing. Uh, if we hold F over and click show range, you can see a diameter ring. Anything within this ring is going to be powered with the items that you can actually utilize it, such as the portable electric stove. Um, and if I turn that off and show you the, uh, the range ring of the smaller one, you can see it's a lot smaller now. Um, does the same thing. Now the gas tank here, this uses propane gas. There's obviously a propane vessel at the gas stations. You will need to pay for it as well. And these will need to be in the vicinity of anything uh, of these working too. So for example, this portable gas stove, the gas one is red guys, and the electric is white. So you get two two hobs uh, for, the, for the electric and you get one for the gas there. So I'm gonna turn, uh, I'm gonna hide the range there. Right, okay, that's pretty much that. Oh, also, sorry, at the same time, uh, there is a new grill grid, which is here, <clears throat> and you've also got the improvised barbecue um, as well, which has been in a game for some time. Now, if I hold F over this, you're not going to see anything um, other than, obviously, light fire and stuff like that. But you can see, once I actually light the fire over this, it will then allow you to cook food. So you get the cook food uh, situation here. Now, if I do go to cook food, I could just show you this, actually. Uh, but you can do this on a normal fire as well. Oh, I don't have any meat on me. I did make a meat skewer earlier on. Um, I'll show you that last. Once once I've shown you all the stuff inside, I'll then come back out and we're just going to make a fire um, and we'll cook a skewer because that's what most people are going to be doing as they're running around the map anyway. So, uh, Right, let's go inside here. You're going to hear the generator running, guys. So here is a portable refrigerator. And here is the stove, and here is the the actual, here's a proper fridge, basically. This is a prefab fridge, because you can't move them, they're in these buildings, and so is this oven. So prefabs are going to be a bit more popular now. You can carry the fridge in your hands if you really want, moving it around and stuff, which is pretty cool, take it back to base or whatever. Um, so these fridges, if I look inside this fridge, obviously I've got some food there already, and I'm very surprised that it's actually degrading. And it's been degrading quite fast, actually, if I'm going to be honest, guys, in the last 30 minutes or so, uh, that this, this food has been in here. I'm not sure if it's these that are supposed to stay at 100% or it's this fridge, because I'm pretty sure I heard somewhere that one of these fridges will keep the food at 100% guaranteed. But I don't know if it's the portable one or this one. That will need some experimenting. Um, okay, so we've got the generator. You can see it's powering. Um, the oven here because the, the the stove underneath is electric and the top is gas so I need to show the range of that and This should be working so I should be able to turn on The stove and if I turn on the oven as well There you go. So the lights just come on obviously because we're using the generator to run that and the gas is obviously running uh, The top there. I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer just for the purpose of this video here All right, okay so everything's everything's working now. So, if uh, if you go into inventory, these books here. So you're going to see a load of books, and these are all the cooking books that you can get in the game. Now you need to have these cooking books to be able to cook something. It's not like you read it and remember the actual cooking um, 
the actual ingredients. I mean, imagine it real life, guys. You've got all your different ingredients, all your different weights. You're always going to have an ingredients book when you're cooking, aren't you? Pretty much, unless you've cooked the same thing a million times over, right? Um, so this is going to sort of go both ways, uh, sway both ways with opinions from people. But you have to have the ingredient book on you. So if we go over to cooking, you can now see all the ingredients, uh, all, all the different things we can cook. If I didn't have one of these books, it wouldn't show. So we're going to cook a pizza. I'm going to go straight for the pizza. Let's go for a, a, a Hawaiian pizza. Um, and you can see that the main ingredients here, um, and you've got the optional ingredients as well. So it says it, at the bottom, it requires an oven. Ideal cooking time is 10 minutes. It's not real 10 minutes, by the way. Ideal cooking temperature and level is 300, extremely hot. So what we're going to do, I'm going to click uh, F onto the stove here. And you can see I've got the stove ring, the pot, the gas stove ring, the pan, and the oven. So I'm going to select the oven, go to pizzas, pizza Hawaiian. Um, and we're going to go into the, uh, the bottom here. You can see right here. So it's getting ready for me to put all the ingredients in, um, which I am now going to do. So I'm actually going to take out my ingredients from the fridge, uh, which you can see uh, here. So I'm going to take out a load of this stuff. And let's drop that out there for a moment. And let's go and make a pizza. So I'm going to select F again, guys. Select the oven. Um, select the pizza. And now it gives you the ingredients to put into the oven. So it's as simple as this. You just drag your milk over, drag your water over. Uh, what we've got, flour, we've got cheese, we've got yeast, we've got the spawn, spam, uh, pineapple. I know it's blasphemy for some people. Uh, we have salt and we have oil. I've had oil on the counter. Oh, the only thing I don't have is spices mix. Now, you're going to see something that's really, really frustrating for a lot of people here. Watch this. So I'm going to come out of it. I'm going to spawn spices mix because I'm in single player, guys. So we're just, I'm just doing this for, uh, obviously, the purposes of this tutorial. So I'm going to hold, uh, click F, oven, pizzas, Hawaiian pizza. It resets everything. So the second you forget one ingredient, it will then ask you um, to put everything else in again. So let's get the pineapple, uh, let's get the milk, let's get the water. And you actually see this cook as well. You actually see it cook. So they've done a lot of work with this. Obviously, everything can always be tidied up a little bit. Um, but PVE side of things, like, this is amazing. Like, it is huge. Right, so now you can see I've got all the ingredients for the pizza. Now what I select, I click on the chef's app. And now it's given me a timer. Now that timer there, obviously the higher my cooking skill, that's going to come down. So my cooking skill right now is quite obviously low. Um, so that's cooking there now. So now we're going to watch out for that. And you, you will see the color difference. And it does look like it actually cooks. Right, now we've got the pan up here, guys. So if I hold, if I press the pan, I'm going to, or the pot, sorry, and click on the pot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a drink. Let's make some tea, right? I'm pretty sure I've got... Have I got tea? Um, there we go. Okay, so I've got a tea pack. We're going to put some tea. Oh, I need some sugar. I need some sugar and a lemon. Okay. So I need some sugar. There we go. And sugar and a lemon. And now we can make this. And you will see this work as well. So if I hold F, we go over to the pot. Obviously, we go and drink. Select whatever drink I want to use. Uh, we'll just make a tea, normal tea. So we'll put the sugar in, we'll put the lemon in, uh, we've got the water, and we have the tea, which is here. Now I can cook that. So now you're going to see that over there, and you're going to see the pizza starting to change very soon. You can sort of zoom in up on it. Smell it already. It smells delicious. Um, so here's the tea, and you will see the color change in the water as well. As we're, uh, as we're cooking it, it will go like a brown color. And it didn't start off as a brown color. So if I click on that, you can see the tea is going to take three minutes. And the ovens, uh, the pizza's taken nine minutes or so. But obviously, it's not real time. Um, let me hide the range of the gas there. So, like I said, you will need to fuel up the gas. Uh, you will need to fill up these generators with gasoline canisters as well. And obviously, that is powering right now this fridge. It's also powering this stove. And it's also powering this fridge at the same time so you might not want to put that in you can turn these off actually um, or in fact it's not actually it's not even saying uh, 
turning on is not an option apparently so I don't know why that is saying that which is very strange because that should be on because that's in the area unless you need another generator which would be strange because that's all in the same ring so you can see the pizza started to change a little bit now you can actually see the difference you can see it cooking now you can see the teats changed look at the water it's awesome isn't it right oh oh perfectly cooked <laughs> I was like 20 20 in-game seconds over that so you can see here now I've got my tea we actually have a cup of tea guys look check this out and if you hold a uh, control over it if you hold anything that you can eat and consume in your hands um, then you can just left control and you can see what it does so I can literally drink this right now and I'm sitting here drinking my tea and you can see how much that lasts as well there's a lot there straight into the metabolism you can see the consumed stomach testing energy this giving me protein carbs fat um, alcohol there's no alcohol in it water um, and stuff so we're actually drinking a cup of tea nice and you can see the pizza's changed again as it's cooking very very cool very cool but it's something i think you guys are gonna have to check out and test for yourselves i mean look we've been playing this for five years now coming up to five years anyway and this game is just changing so much but it's getting to a point that we really wanted it to be as well you know oh that pizza's going to be done in a minute so i can actually show you guys what that does um or how that uh, Hawaiian pizza comes out and then I can show you outside um, cooking basically like you know when you're just going around cooking meat on skewers and stuff while you're running around um, I will show you so we'll do just get a standard fire because not everyone's going to be having all of this around them all the time uh, you can see the pizza now look at that look at look at look at it change it's awesome isn't it Right, so we haven't got long left of here. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below about the cooking system and, and, and how you're finding it so far. Is it getting you running around different places and you're, not, you're knowing where to go now? Let us know. Um, okay, so if I click the chef's hat, perfect cooked, grab. So, look at the pizzas. I've got five out of five pizzas here. Um, I'm pretty sure I had eight out of eight. Maybe the cooking skill gives you a little bit more, I'm not sure. So if I eat, eat one slice out of five, this is how long it takes to eat one slice of this uh, Hawaiian pizza. Um, okay. So, that's basically how you cook, guys. Now, you can even use the pan. So, if I left-click on the pan and click on the gas stove ring uh, pan here, rather, because the pan's there. You can cook casseroles. You can you can cook eggs. Um, if In fact, look, if I get an egg quickly, I can show, um, I can show you the, uh, the egg cooking. So if we go into the pan here and select pan and then, oh no, wrong one, pot. Uh, no, no, that's not the right one. Where is it? Uh, let's go with this one, pan, casseroles, fried eggs. Right, there we go. So we just click eggs, salt, uh, we put some oil, we've got some oil there. And we can actually put three more eggs in if we want. So you don't have to put more eggs in, guys. You can just use one because this didn't disappear watch if i take oh no i can't can't take it out for some reason oh there you go oh just right click it just right click it oh well look, it's gone back in there in that color <laughs> okay so you can see that one egg i can cook one egg if i like um but we're gonna actually put more we're gonna cook a few eggs so let's cook the egg here even though it's only showing one egg though that's a bit weird so it's gonna take several minutes for that to cook so I'm going to leave that there. We're going to go outside. And I'm going to show you guys uh, the next part of what we're going to do here. So check this out. So I'm just going to spawn this in because for time's sake on the video. And the whole cooking feature isn't going to take two minutes to, uh, to, to sort of show you guys. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to light the fire. So now I've got the fire lit. I hold F over the fire and cook food. So now I'm going to click on the skewer. Obviously, it only gives you the option for the skewer. Um, so let's say I'm out in the wilderness and I've just killed a bear or something. I go to meat skewer. So I can put I can make, put one bit of meat there, a bit of salt, and a bit of pepper. So you need to have the salt and pepper now, guys. All right. So now if I cook that, it automatically gives you the stick and the meat, um, obviously, on the skewer itself. Um, now that will cook, and it works exactly the same way as well on obviously how they cook in inside um it is on a timer but this is the interesting thing obviously the skewer and the meat just appeared out of nowhere with the fire now if i put the fire out 
I'm pretty sure I have to destroy this, but it might do it this way as well. Uh, no, it didn't actually. Um, Alright, so if I go back to light fire, let's go back to light fire. Okay, so it's not allowing me to destroy us because I haven't got a knife on me. It's just really weird when you see the whole system like completely new now. So if I grab that knife here, I thought I had the knife on me. How's the eggs doing? Let's have a look. Oh, you can see them cooking. Look, check that out. You can even hear them. Can you hear that, guys? Left head, sir. Left ear. Right ear. Left ear. It's cool, isn't it? Um, so you can see that's 37 seconds left for the eggs. Let's just wait for this to finish. And... So the second that timer, let it go a couple of seconds over. Always let it go a couple of seconds over like that, and then do it, and then it says it's excellently cooked. So you can see I've got an egg now. And now I'm going to eat this egg. But I did just cook more, so where's all my other eggs gone? Absolute thief, that frying pan. So we've cooked, we've cooked pizza, we've cooked eggs, we've made some tea. Um, and I'm going to eat this egg here. So let's go back outside. This is also cooking as well. I'm going to take that off, and it says it's ruined. So I've got some ruined meat here. But you can see how it comes out, like a kebab. It's pretty cool. Um, right, this video's probably gone a little bit longer than I thought. So I'm hoping that you guys really took this in. Um, because this went on for a little bit longer than I expected it to. But you can't just go over everything in like a matter of seconds to really try everything out. But there will be bugs, guys. It is an early access game. So just I'm just giving you the heads up on how this is. So... Um, that's pretty much it for the video, ladies and gents. Thank you very much for your time. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, and please, again, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe on your way out as well to keep up with all my daily live streams um, and videos as well throughout the week. Uh, also, we are coming up to 60,000 subscribers. So thank you so much to everyone who's hit that button down there. Um, and uh, would be amazing to see where this channel goes later on. The more subs we get on the channel, it's going to be awesome. So uh, with that being said, stay safe, peace out, and I'll catch you guys on the live stream tomorrow. Take care.